We're here with the Trevor Baskin, head coach Mike DeGeorge, and Aiden Cool after the 81-56 win over South Dakota Mines. Coach, we'll start with you. Just opening statement, your thoughts on tonight. Yeah, it's proud of the guys' effort. Um, you know, we've really been able to get our defense to the next level in terms of consistency. I just think our communication, our intensity, and our execution has been way better. And I think this is probably the fourth or fifth opponent we've held under uh, 40% shooting in a row, which is awesome, uh, which is our goal. And then offensively, I thought just the, our general structure was better tonight in terms of our spacing. And, um, you know, we had a good uh, shoot around. I thought it cleaned up a few things for the guys that, that kind of helped them understand some uh, b better ways to get into actions. And it cleaned it up. And I thought it led to some better advantages. And our turnovers were down from last night. So uh, I thought it was a step in the right direction. Aiden, we'll go over to you. I mean, uh, 11 points, three made threes. You guys made 10 in the first half as a team. Just seemed like it was it was one of the first times this year. Then the first half, you guys put a really good shooting half together. Uh, just talk about getting off to such a strong start in the flow of the offense that you guys want to play. Uh, yeah, so uh, this week, um, we kind of just refined some things um, on offense. Um, and. Last night it was still a little bit of a struggle. We were still kind of working out the kinks. And uh, tonight, um, Coach KB was on Red Bull, he said, in, ha in halftime. And he's just telling us all to just let it fly over and over. And um, I think all of us just stepped on the court with nothing but confidence today. And obviously, we felt, uh, felt the goodness of that. So, yeah. Trevor, for you, another double-double tonight. It's two this week, six this year. Uh, just talk about your performance and the way that it, it seemed like a lot of your rebounds came early in the game, then they, they really didn't have an answer for you on the boards. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's definitely, I definitely think there's room for improvement. Um, I'm missing some shots that I usually make. Um, I'm going to credit that to practicing like twice in the last two weeks. But uh, I mean, there's always, um, I think uh, our on ball defense on their two really dynamic guards was phenomenal, which led them into tough shots. And I was always kind of just sitting around on the uh, on the low block with the big guy, which led to, uh, I mean, some pretty easy rebounds. But I think I think it, w it was really a credit to Eyes and Mac and Owen and all those guys doing a really good job on Rama and Khan, uh, forcing them into really tough shots, and then uh, just me kind of getting lucky and getting the rebounds off of them. All right, questions. Yeah, looking at the, the defense, like you said, the stats three of the last four games is. What exactly do you want to see improve defensively to keep this going? To got some tougher opponents coming in here, but I mean, this was a good South Dakota Mines team, and they didn't shoot the ball well at all, really. Yeah, I mean, it really it's just about consistency for this group, and you know, one of the things you got to manage with a veteran team is, you know, how hard do you push them, and what do we work on, and how do we find ways for them to continue to grow and be challenged without it getting stale, and so you know, a lot of our focus in the summer and fall were on. Uh, you know, on really trying to get guys to, um, you know, offensively trying to figure out some of the things. And so we kind of took our defense for granted because we've had a veteran group and, and you know, but we've been able to reestablish those habits and greater, greater emphasis on our, the defensive end this last month. And I think it's paid dividends. We're playing the best defense we've played all year this, these last couple of weeks. And then, uh, for either Trevor or Aiden, just you guys can kind of think about back to the beginning of RMAC play and then just think about tonight's game, last night's game, just how much easier the offense is playing and how much – guys are gelling together defensively and all those things? I mean, I think with any team, um, we start playing better later on in the season. And I mean, with implementing the new offense, it was every, everyone, 1 through 18, had been trying to keep up and learn it. Um, and obviously, we had the head start in the summer. But it's completely different when you're playing against guys our age, great athletes, great teams, other than some lesser opponents when we played in Europe. And I mean, I think it's just it's just taking the approach of, Every day at practice, we want to learn something new. We want to get better. And I mean, Coach did a good job of making sure, like, at halftime, we were up 17. He's like, we're, we're playing for March right now against uh, teams. If we have sustained leads, we want to work on this, our stuff. So that when a game for you guys next Friday, or is it a bigger game with it being one of the best teams in the RMAC? Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go about it how we go about every week. Um, we're going to come in, recover on Monday, and then hit the ball rolling Tuesday and get ready. And I think we're all going to be locked in, especially with uh, the big big opponent opponent coming in on Friday, and I think we're going to be ready. Yeah. So, uh, question for the whole table. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk uh, in the early in the season about 
you know, just implementing this new offense and kind of the natural, you know, growing pains that come with the change. When when do you guys think that everything started clicking? Can you point to a game where it felt like you guys really turned that corner? I mean, there's it. I still don't know if it has yet. I mean, there's obviously spurts and stuff where it feels amazing, but uh, I can't point back to a specific time where we felt okay the whole game that we were locked in the entire time on offense. I mean, we put up good numbers on in all, on our offense, but I still don't think we've necessarily hit our stride yet on offense. So it's an encouraging feeling that um, we're striving to be better every day. But yeah, I still I can't necessarily say we've hit our full stride that we're cap what we're fully capable of doing yet. Do you guys agree? Yeah, hundred percent. I thought he said it really well and um, you know, we're a work in progress and, and we get segments where you're like, yeah, that's it and then, you know, it kinda of fades away and that's just, you know, it, it comes in stages and we're definitely grown and and um, you know, part of it too is is that you're facing different defenses, different personnel, different game plans and, you know, you gotta be able to adjust to those circumstances. So part of our growth has been you know, just being able to do it against all different types of uh, defense that we're seeing. So basically, like, every time you see a different defense, you want to kind of see how this offense works against that defense. And yeah, it's really just more about not letting the defense take away from what the pace we're trying to play with and, you know, and the things that we're trying to do. And, and there have been times where, you know, we get a little bogged down, we hold the ball as our primary thing and then and without the proper spacing. So it really comes down to can we keep the ball moving and can we get in the proper spacing? And when those things happen, we usually make great decisions now. But even last night, we had times where significant portions of the game where that wasn't happening. Um, and so, you know, and, and again, last night I thought was one of the better defensive teams we faced all year. And, and um, so, you know, it's, it's all part of the growth process. And, you know, no team's ever fully got it. And, um, you know, but this group's really working hard. And they're very talented. And, and um, but it's encouraging, as Trevor said, we just got another step, another level we can get to. And I think it'll make a big difference in the outcome of, uh, of our offense. Trevor Aiden, just talk about specifically the, the, the pace that you guys play with. When when you guys are out there, are you guys thinking off the glass, one made shot, run to a sp certain spot, let someone get the ball? What, what exactly goes through your mind to play with that pace so efficiently? Uh, yeah, so um, I mean, it, whoever gets the ball, we're just looking to get it ahead and uh, fill corners and attack from there. Um, it's obviously, if it's a made field goal by the other team, we're getting it out of the hoop as fast as we can and doing the same thing, even if it's a made basket. Um, and I think that the pace kind of just puts a pressure on, t pressure on the defense, and then they kind of just scrambling from there. And obviously, we make good decisions and attack the rim and hit open threes, and just really opens everything up. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree. I mean, we have uh, EPA engraved in my head for the rest of my life. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if I see if I see a ball go in, it's or a missed rebound. I'm. I mean, I think it's everyone's. It's everyone's like first nature now to look ahead and see if there's a person open up and down the court. I think putting constant pressure on them um, can find cracks in their in their uh, defensive transition, which leads to a small advantage. Within with the shooters and the athletes that we have, leads to bigger advantages. And we love nothing more than open threes and layups. So yeah. So yeah. EPA. 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 Uh, just real quick. You know, Fort Lewis coming in here Friday. Just a few words from each of you guys on not only, you know, the, this team was was built to play in big games and look forward to big games. So not only that aspect, but also the fan aspect of it being Blizzard and Bronson. You know, a lot of kids come back to school, festive atmosphere. Just talk about what it's going to be like to play in front of that crowd and, and the caliber of opponent that's coming in here next week. I mean, it's, it's a matchup made in heaven. I mean, it's a two teams that are big rivals that, uh, have clashed and many times and have had a lot of great games and obviously the Blizzard and Bronson is always a great time and students get really active and the community gets really involved in that game and it's the most people I've ever played in front of was my sophomore year at the Blizzard and Bronson and it's, I mean it's two really good teams both ranked pretty highly in the, in the country and have ch shots at competing for national titles so I mean it's, it's everything you want to play and when you play college basketball you want to play in games like these so it's, 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 it's exciting. Uh, yeah, um, being new here, that was one of the first things that I heard of um, coming in um, and that the community is just huge supporters. So I'm really excited to 
get the opportunity to play in front of the community and play in front of the uh, student body and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, just from Fort Lewis' perspective, you know, they've been able to rebuild their roster in a year. they got a really talented team. We did scrimmage them at the beginning of the year and, you know, very different defense uh, from what we play. So, you know, they're going to be up really aggressive, trapping, uh, full court uh, pressure. And so it should make for an exciting game against two really talented teams. And uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.